Hello, Keiko here, and welcome to the chaos. Let's go. Combination of greenery and the light of flames offers someone who reminds people of incredibly strong vitality. In fairy tales descriptions, you used to describe the passion of the light of flowers in pursuing his enemies, and through the noble use of pyro in battle, it was the burning passion manifested to its fullest. Ooh. Okay. Burning or burgeon, you say? Oh, we were always supposed to use her. But yow yow. What if I put three? Feels like a lot. I'm sure we'll be fine. <laughs> oh well. Oh well, there's a reason I don't do combat. <laughs> oh dear. I just like that Nahida links everybody together, okay? Oh, there's only one guy here. Never mind. If we could have avoided it then. Alright, let's one at a time. And we probably didn't even need to do this. Oh. No. Oh, like this, like this, like this. Oh. Click the button. Click the buttons. The fact that this is kind of working probably means these characters are very strong because there's no way I'm using any kind of technique. <laughs> So if this works, <laughs> I'll be very impressed. <laughs> Why is it working? Why is it working? Well, this is making me kind of regret not trying to get Kinich. <laughs> oh well, okay. Well, that made up for my absolutely terrible performance in the previous one. What was the last one to say? This is flowers beam across the land, in fairy tales, the night of flowers traverses all of Sumeru, simply cleansing the land of monsters and the wicked. Inspired by such tales, many child resolves to follow in the night's footsteps. Ooh. Okay. Who else? I put need in there. Oh, but yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, it'll be fine. Yes, yes. Okay. Oh. Maybe I should have. I don't know how this works. It is only about using burst, so I hope this guy is good. Recharge? <laughs> Okay. 
Ooh, ooh, I see, I see, I see. doing that wrong. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing wrong, but I'm definitely doing it wrong. For sure. Definitely for sure. Am I doing it wrong? Oh, perfect. 2000. That's all I needed. That's all I needed. Everything else, it's extra. Okay. I mean, we almost got 2000 for all of them. There's just one I couldn't do. <laughs> So hopefully we have enough points, whatever we might have been getting from all of this. Uh, oh! Ah! Good night, Shadow Peace. Hopefully I will see you on Sunday. Have a good, have a good rest of the week. And yeah, I will, I will see you then. Okay. Okay. All is well. <laughs> okay, okay. I think I've done all the mini games now. We just need to like do the quest, probably. Uh, okay. Other celebration anecdotes. Ah, yep, part three. We haven't done that yet. Holiday events. Yep, okay. Well, this one I take okay, this. The rocking carriage in the dreams, the combat, which we've kind of failed, but that's because I'm bad at combat. Oh, enough for a Candace. Which is good. Is that enough for all the prizes? Ah. Really? I'm 10 short. Ooh. Does this, not this. Oh no, that will give me 80. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> I wanted to know if this, the one that I failed. Yeah, that would have done it. Oh well. We need to do the quest. I think that should do it. And then we've done this. Okay, just, just do the quest. But first, let us level up Candice. Candice, where are you? Candice! There we go. Okay, to where are we going? Where are we going? Ah, yes, to the gardens, because we didn't want Nikita to overhear us. <laughs> oh, where else you always have to go? Fair enough, fair enough. Have a good evening, and hopefully I will see you on Sunday. Have a good rest of your week. Um, maybe she overslept? I don't know, that has never happened before. Did anyone see her on the way here? We're here, huh? What's going on? Looking so worried. Miss Yu isn't here yet. Oh, maybe she's running late? That's not like her, she's come early every other time we've met. Besides, I only went to the Grand Bazaar to meet up with her before the meeting. But I was told she had left first thing this morning. And now sign is here, but Nidu is still nowhere to be found. That's exactly why we're worried. Any progress with the robbery case? Interrogated the people in charge of the caravan on the day of the incident. But they were technically the victims of the case, and all their goods were lost, so there was no evidence to investigate. The goods are certainly suspicious, but until we recover them, all we can do is observe the caravan under the guise of protection. We contacted the original son of the gem, apparently stole the other half to a young man in the desert, but that's all he could tell us. The summarise the location of the hazardous materials and the second gem are a complete mystery, and now Nilu is missing as well. But you think Nilu's disappearance is connected to all of this? I'm still not sure if the three events are connected, but if they are, it probably has something to do with Nilu's dance of Sabsaru. That's the key part of the festival. If someone was trying to sabotage the celebrations, Nilu would be a natural target. Okay, go can is any time to waste. Let's try to follow her trail. Take Nari, can you stay back and explain the situation to everyone when they arrive? Of course, it's still possible Nilu was simply held up by something urgent. I'll wait here. Start with the grammar's art, we could ask around for clues. You should go, I'll wait here. Where can she be? My guess is that Nahida came to talk to her and then um, and she couldn't leave without Nahida getting suspicious, so she's just stuck, like having coffee with Nahida. That's my guess. Plus, that sounds like a better alternative than her getting kidnapped, so <laughs> I'm gonna hope that's the problem. Hmm. 
Ah, uh, Mrs. Zuba. Oh, hello. Do you need something? We're looking for Nilu. Do you know where she is? Nilu, she left bright and early this morning. She said she had to help out a friend. Was she by herself? And did you happen to see which gate she used to leave the city? She definitely left alone. As the direction, I think she left through the gate to the north. It can be opposite direction of Paradise Dia. Did something happen? This is another time for practical jokes, you know? Mrs. Zuba, could you send word to Paradise Dia if Nilu comes back to the Grand Bazaar? Of course. I'm sure she just got caught up in something. So let me know when you find her. You will. All right, let's leave through the north gate and see what we can find. Oh, I hope nothing bad happened to her. Go on your way now, don't waste any more time. Mr. Navida, have you seen Nilu this morning? Nilu? Oh yes, I saw her head out of the city. She was wearing the prettiest outfit. Which way did she go? Uh, that way, I believe. Was anyone following her? Did anything look... Did everything look okay? I mean, like she was in a good mood. She even stopped to say hello. Ah, uh, no, I didn't see anyone else. Alright, thank you. Hello, what can I do for you? You work at the moment. That's great. Person. Oh, okay. Uh, don't worry. That cash me to down. I want to clear the exchange of knowledge between the doctors and the patients. Focus on at present is whether the between doctors and patients going smoothly and whether medical supplies being effectively distributed or not. This is unrelated. Uh, please cooperate with us, Mahamatra, and make sure to report anything unusual to us at once. Well, that explains why Sino got her to, you know, answer the question so easily. If he's her boss, I guess. Okay, well, let's head this way and see if we can see Milu. Milu? Excuse me, have any of you seen Miss Nilu from Zuba Theatre come this way? Yes, I know. I saw Miss Nilu cross the bridge after leaving the city this morning. There was a man waiting for her on the other side. Wait, could that be the person who bought the second gem? Do you see the man's face? Unfortunately, no, he was too far away. Understood. If she comes back this way, please tell her to find me at Party Dia. Yes, General. Let's keep going. Oh, can't talk to them. Okay. Well, where did they go? trail ends here and there's no one else we can ask for clues. There are intersecting sets of footprints on the ground because we're tracking some of them. If there's many traces easy to get mixed up. Let me take a closer look. Wait, that figure, it's... Excuse me for a moment, you two. An Aradara! Sure, we'll continue analyzing the footprints over here. Doesn't matter way if you find anything. Aradara! Do you know where Neely went? Oh, judging by the traces, they must have turned left. Easy to mix up with as many footprints, we need to be thorough. Where could this lead? A man in the desert. Run around. Arasaka, it's you! Eek! It's the nice golden hour, Arasaka must hide. Huh? Why do you need to hide? We're friends, aren't we? Friends? Arasaka is friends with the Golden Hour, but Arapa said Arasaka can't talk to many people right now. But why? He thinks Arasaka will let everyone think slip by accident. But eek, Arasaka shouldn't say any more. The thing slip, huh? Okay, we just have one question. Did you see a girl walk by? An hour with red hair? An hour like a beautiful flower? The red Nara is pretty like a Paradisara? Yes, Arasaka saw that Nara. Really? Which way did she go? She went towards a messy part of rocks with another Nara. But Arasaka doesn't know them. A messy pile of rocks? Probably the ruins near the fane of Ashvata. 
Well, that makes sense. Thank you, Arasaka. Arasaka is happy to help Kind Gonara. Kind Gonara has helped Arasaka in the past. Arasaka, about the other thing you mentioned. Aik, Arasaka doesn't know anything. Arasaka won't say anything else. <laughs> Guess that ends this conversation. I'm guessing the Aranara have some surprise for Nahida too. Nah, well, let's tell Sino and Candice that what we learned. How are we going to explain that one, though? <laughs> How are we going to explain that? Where is Ashla? Oh, this way. How are we going to explain that? The Fane of Ashvata? The footprints lead in that direction as well. Where did you get this information? Well, uh, we were tipped off by some friends. We can vouch for the inform information. Alright, I trust you. Let's go after them. Hopefully... Ah, ah. Another vision? Yes, this time I only heard faint voices. What did they say? Sounded like two people having a conversation. There was someone asking what she find out and something about following the tracks. It was nearly one of the voices. You couldn't tell. The voices were too muffled. Hmm. Let's head towards the ruins for now. The vision could mean we're on the right track. getting lost trying to figure out where anything in, in Sumeru is. Okay, let's, let's head down here. Is that where the footprints lead? I don't think so. I mean, this is the only set that's going out. Okay. We'll follow the footprints. And see if we can find Nilu. Because we're worried about her. I'm just gonna dodge the Eremites. Hopefully they don't fight me. Okay, they, they try to fight me, but that's okay. Oh no, I went too far. This way, this way, this way! Just keep running, just keep running! Wait, is this the right way? Close enough. You know what, maybe we should just go this way. Just keep running. be getting close. This area is usually full of treasure hoarders. Nilu could be in danger. Look over there. Oh! Where's she going? It's Nilu! Hey! I don't think she can hear us. We're too far away. Come on, let's go! Okay, Nilu! Nilu! Where are you going, Nilu? Nilu! Oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Oh, I can't believe we walked this far already. We should be getting close, right? Nilu! Huh? Nilu, uh, we knew there was a bad guy with you. Leave her alone, you. Huh? It's Sethos. Uh, by bad guy, do you mean me? <laughs> yes. Uh, what are you doing here? Am I not supposed to be here? Oh, what are you guys doing here? Can't we stick to one question at a time? Wait, that one doesn't count. Oh! Saroosh! Saroosh! What dreadful cacophony? Are we not allowed a quiet place to practice? Saroosh? Good to see you again. Ah, Pell Floater and my Yasna party! She's bigger than I remember. You know this red floating being? Excuse you, I, Sarush, am a noble pari and the bloom god of Havana. Now, Sarush is a pari we met in the Rokasha Oasis. She's really nice. You just have to get used to the way she talks. 
Mr. Sathos, the item on your person? Oh, that item on your person. You mean this cracked wedge at eye? Oh! He knows what it is! So you were the one who bought the other gem! Uh, wedge at eye? Pari? Sounds like something I've read about before. You can probably guess what really happened. Now's the time for riddles. Everyone in the city is still worried about Nilu. Worried about me? But I left a message for everyone. Message? What message? I never received anything like that. Don't tell me Rashni fell asleep halfway there again. Hearing that name, this is all starting to check out. Who is Rashnu? The party that was supposed to pass on my message. She did it really tired earlier. I want to take this one thing at a time. First, what are you guys doing here? Well, that, explain, that explanation starts with the first time I met Sarush. Wait, Nilu's in her other outfit. I see, I see. Are we also getting a cutscene? Yeah, Nilu's in, Nilu's in her outfit, her fairy outfit. Uh, Sarush, they're here. I've had enough of these insufferable rascals wreck havoc, re wrecking havoc in the desert, left and right, right and left. <laughs> Rashnu! <laughs> Wake up, Rashnu, we teach them a lesson, or we'll never get another good night's sleep. Snore, snore, snore. I'll check with my thorns when they pass by, you can take care of the rest. Perfect, they don't stand a chance. Let's give them the taste of sheer terror. Oh! That's why they were thorns. Ah, what is the- what in the thorns? Oh, it's the wagon, it's stuck. Huh? Now? <laughs> it was the party! Just can borrow the power. Oh yeah, yeah, okay. Behold my might! A bomb? Is there a bomb falling from the sky? Ah! Panicking, get the wagon out first. What was this Pari doing so far towards Caravan Ribat? Mm, perish, you scoundrels! They probably had enough, don't you think? Uh, who might you be? The name's Sethos. I was out for a walk and I heard the commotion, so I came to check it out. Since you already destroyed their goods, I'd say you can stop here. These kind of situations can easily get out of hand. Uprising youth, have you an idea to whom you speak? The Bloom Guard, Sarush, renowned among the Pari. All children of the desert know your name. So you're not entirely ignorant after all. Fine, I'm willing to call it a day. But if those scoundrels continue to disrupt the peace of this land, I will show them no mercy. The two of us really hit it off after that, so I became her guide in Sumo City. You really can get along with anyone, huh? Sethos fulfilled his duty well. I have come here for a monumental task. What task? <gasps> Mahida's birthday? I heard Lesla Kuznani is currently celebrating her birthday in the city. As her familiars, the Pari have decided to bestow upon her a special gift. As cited by Elder Zervan, the Bloom God of the Pari, that would be me, will present the dance of Sabzru to Lesla Kuznali, a tradition passed down over the centuries. I told Saru the dancer was already decided, but she insisted on meeting Nilu in person. Good thing I did. How was I to know the current version is nothing like the original? Well, there are bound to be changed over the centuries. I was, so I was so excited to see the original version, I begged Miss Saru to teach me. Such a rare opportunity. If I present the special version of the South Street Festival, I'm sure that Andrew Arkham will love it, and all the spectators too. I appreciate young Nilu's determination, so I invited her here to practice in peace. So that's what happened. Feels like we've been chasing bad guys for days, but in the end, there was no bad guys at all. It was all for Nahida's surprise. Hold on, don't forget about the guys with the fireworks. You still haven't figured out what they were up to. Making havoc in the desert, trying to turn a profit by illegally excavating ruins and tombs. That's my guess. That is to them why they chose a remote path away from our village. They're lucky you didn't catch them in the act. Hm, few moments with me, and they'd be begging for their days of baking in the hot sun. Okay, remind Paimon not to get on Candace's bad side. By the way, Miss Candace, I noticed you're carrying the other half of the wedge at eye. 
Oh yeah, what exactly is this thing? It was a gift from King Deshra to Lesser Lord Kusanali. Sorry, he belonged to Great Lord Ray Davis, actually. But given what happened to Ermansol. That's right, so you've read the legend too. I knew the basics. I never thought these two gems could be connected to, connected to the relic from the legend. I only bought the gem because it seemed like there was something special about it. Legend didn't come into play until I checked a certain text back in the Temple of Silence. Legend has it the King Deshra and the Goddess of Flowers, Lady Madakata. Oh, both prepared surprise gifts for Lesser Lord Kazanali during the first Sabsri festival. They scattered candy along a path leading towards the side of the banquet. Eventually she arrived at a lake where she heard the sound of music. Lord Alamar was plucking the strings of an instrument while Lady Malakata performed a beautiful dance. Together, the two extended their heartfelt wishes to their dear friend, and each bestowed upon her a precious gift. Lady Malakata gave her the Havana to protect the rainforest, and Lord Alamar gave her the Wedged Eye to record the moments they shared together. The Wedged Eye was also out of the cataclysm in Kanria, buried deep beneath the sands. And as Lord Kuznali turned to turn the Havana into a divine bird, her was guarding the border between new birth and death until the bird shattered into pieces and gave rise to the Pari. So Candace actually saw things recorded by the Wedget Eye. I was definitely surprised it still had the power to record events after all this time. Its power seems to only resonate with the people of Alamar, also known as the descendants of King Deshret. Despite the damage, it still holds many secrets. Despite the damage, it still holds many scenes from the past. The same voice I heard earlier, could it actually have been Lord Alamar and the Goddess of Flowers? What do you plan to do with the two pieces of the eye? If you don't mind, I'd like to place them under the custody of the Temple of Silence. I agree with that decision. Oh, I thought they were going to give them to Nahida. Technically, the eye belongs to Lesley Kuzanali. Why don't you just give it back? Oh, that might make things complicated. I'm not sure that would be wise. If she remembers the story, I fear all that remains in this fragmented piece of memory is grief. A record of sad memories as Nahida's friend, I don't want her to feel sad on her birthday. I don't fully understand your reasoning, but if this is the decision of the group, as well as my Yasna party, then I shall object no further. Well, are you going to let me teach the girl the dance of the Sabzuru, or do you intend to drag this on incessantly? She's got a point. Now you know it was all a false alarm, let's go back and tell everyone what happened. They're probably worried. I'll tell the other Marshal to keep an eye out for that caravan. If we find any evidence of any misconduct, we won't let them get off lightly. Yes, I'll stay here then. Let's... There's a bunch of monsters nearby, so it's always good to have someone thank God. Sorry to make you worry, everyone. I'll head right back and help once I'm done learning this dance. Focus, no distractions. Now, follow along. Yes, Master Sarush. Watch closely. One and two and... One and two and... This is what the original dance looked like. Where's Sethos? He's gotta be nearby. Sethos? Ethos. Ethos? Oh, there he is. What kind of history is presented in the eye? Now you all go ahead. I'll see it. Preserve within the eye. Okay, okay. Well, let's go back over here. Now we know that Nilu's not being kidnapped. What did I think happened? Oh no, I thought she got kidnapped by Nahida. <laughs> different outcome, different outcome, but, but still, still a good one. I like all the flowers too. Everything is so pretty. For Nahida! Look at them. So pretty. Okay, now let's, let's copy it. You're finally back. I was so worried. I was this close to sending some mercs after you. Nothing bad happened, right? Nope, it was all just a misunderstanding. That's a relief. I'm glad it's all taken care of. How are the preparations going? Well, Carver's diagram is done. It looked like he pulled an all-nighter to finish it, so he went home to sleep. You built the frame of the tower while you were gone. I think I'll check, it. I'll check it over later, though we were so worried about you uh, We were so worried about you all, it was kind of hard to focus. In any case, not much else to do. If we all work together, we'll be done in no time. Great, we don't have to worry about missing the parade. 
Speaking of the parade, could I ask you for a favor, Keiko? Uh, sure, as long as something I can do. Anytime. Sure, as long as something I can do. Yakuzumi yeah, wants a representative from each dash to nominate someone to serve as the Knight of Flowers for the parade. After some discussions, we all agreed it would be the best. You'd be the pers best person for the job. What do you think? You'd be my honor. Great, you're the hero of Sumo and a personal friend of the Dendro Argon. We all thought you were the best candidate. Make sure you knock it out of the park. Uh, hey, I'll trust her out. Wait, aren't you also in the parade this time, Candice? You're playing the tambour, right? Yes, I'm providing the background music for Miss Nivu's dance. Uh, whoa, I almost never heard you play music before. If you like it, you're welcome in our village anytime. I'm more than happy to allow you to sleep. You can count on it. Looking forward to it. Actually, I have a favour to ask as well. These are the decorations of the flower carriage. Could you bring them to the sanctuary of Suratsana and hang them on the carriage? You may not to have the Knight of Flowers personally decorate it. My pleasure. You can count on us. Everyone visits their own task. The anticipation of the festival makes you for quick work. Well, you know it, sun is set and everyone breaks the night. Ah, uh, phew, we're done. Now we just have to go to the sanctuary of Suratsana and hang decorations for the flower carriage. Oh, everyone's gone home. What the sanctuary looks like the night before the festival? Let's go check it out. Okay, let's go, let's go. Oh, carriage parade! Oh, that's so exciting. It's gonna be so good. Okay, up we go, up we go. So pretty. We can decorate the carriage. Oh, the sound. No. What? Oh, it's beautiful. It kind of looks like Nahi. Oh, it's got a little swing for Nahida. That should be good. All we need to do now is wait for the parade tomorrow. Can we sit in the swing? Oh, <gasps> we can! Nahida's gonna have the best time! <gasps> I'm so excited for her. Okay, wait. All well, versions are done. Wait until the start of the parade tomorrow. Yes. Take another look at the flower carriage. Oh, okay. We're gonna cut it again. It's so cute. Okay, now we can go. Wait till tomorrow. Any music? I have no idea if there's music because my headphones are still a bit dodgy. Why does he look sad? Everyone's been avoiding me lately. They're acting squirrely like they're hiding something. Oh no, Nahida! Also, there are squirrels. <laughs> that was some perfect timing. I have to get to the bottom of this after the parade. Nahida, you will know by the end of the parade. But first, birthday celebrations with delicious candy, a beautiful carriage, and... Sorry to keep you waiting, dear Archon. Time to head out, dear Knight of Flowers. When I woke up, I was riding in a flower carriage. It was, it was my birthday. The Knight of Flowers and their attendants found me. Archon, we finally found you. The people can't wait to meet you. As the Sabsuri Festival began, everyone smiled and gathered around me. Are those Padasaras? Everyone played a bunch of surprises for me. Candy exploded in all directions like dazzling fireworks. 
Uh, ready? Three, two, one. A bird! A bird suddenly appeared. And in that moment, the world erupted in brilliant colour. Actually, I have a surprise of my own. Come on out. Oh, the Aurora! Is that our brother? The Ivanara are the memory holders. When I woke up, I was riding in a flower carriage. It felt just like a dream. Never had I witnessed a more perfect day. Creative flower carriage has concluded without a hitch, and you will return to Paradise Dia. Oh, that was so cute! And it's such a beautiful echo to like the tragedy of Nahida's like... Is it like a demo? Like her little trailer? Of sadness! The same story! But this one's real! Oh, we love it! We love it! And she, she, did, she did use her best. <laughs> Uh, here's a successful birthday surprise. Cheers! Huh, I knew it. I knew it. You had it in you. Carver, you truly are a genius architect. Man, for I think you might have had a little too much to drink. She has not kind of excitement ever since she saw the candy tower hit the flower carriage. I even saw her sneak a few extra drinks just now. But hey, we all deserve to loosen up once in a while. It's what festi festivals are for. By the way, Candice, your playing was amazing out there. How come you've never shown us before? Which is something I do in passing. When the night watch is calm and the stars are out, I'd like to play a few tunes to pass the time. You're saying the stars in the sky get to hear you play more than us? No fair! Honestly, I think Miss Yu's dancing was the real star of the event. Wait, when did this become about me? Izzy, the wedge at eye is now under the custody of the Temple of Silence. You can borrow it for research if you want. No need, set objects merely represent a period of history. Once the events they exemplify are brought to light, there's little value in further study. Ah, I thought you'd at least want to see it. A legendary gem like that is sure to be a wonder to behold. Go and how to take a look. I'm not about to make the trip to the Temple of Science for that. It's too far. That's such a mood. <laughs> you and your hermit tendencies, I swear. Although if someone ever brings it to the Academia for appraisal and certification, I wouldn't mind taking a look. On that topic, I wonder how much it's worth. I never really thought about it. It's kind of like an ancient palace. In a way, not many people are going to break off a piece of a wall and send it for appraisal. That just sounds like something that my Dasha would do. I've heard some of the underclassmen have quite the sense of curiosity. What if that does happen, write a report and send it to my office. Huh? Is that protocol or something? No, I'd like to know what interesting things I brought back to the academia. I might want to check it out. Why did I even bother asking? I should just keep my mouth shut. Interesting, use my report as a sort of alarm clock system. An alarm? Yes, that's why what I heard just now. Dear friends, a critical moment has arrived. Wait, I didn't hear anything. It's not like... A lot of us would call on you and not me. It's time to come together and play. <laughs> Tignari's already done. He hasn't even finished speaking and Tignari's done. It's time to pl play Genius in... Is that Kalei calling me? Sorry, gotta go. <laughs> he's out. <laughs> he's, not, he's not doing it. Ah, Genius invocation this and Genius invocation that. When's Kalei gonna give me an excuse to leave? He should have just left. <laughs> oh. Everyone seems to be having a lot of fun. What about you? Are you having fun? Yeah, I just know this will be the most unforgettable birthday I'll ever have. 
Great alcohol and you have a long life ahead of you. It's too early to draw such a con isn't it too early to draw such a conclusion? Not at all. Sometimes a single moment is all it takes to know you'll remember something for the rest of your life. Your name is Sarush, right? Would you and your friends ever consider coming to live in Sumeru City? No, oh, thank you for your kindness, Great Alcon, but we probably have our own duties, and we find the city a bit too noisy. Is that so? If you spend more time among people, you might start to enjoy the commotion. <laughs> oh, that's also true. I have fond memories of my adventures with Pell Floater and my Yasna party. Oh, really? Pine was happy to hear that. I felt like this year's Sabzu Festival had surprises for everyone. When you called out the Aranara, Pine nearly fell out of the sky in shock. I'm glad you liked it. I told them to stay hidden so no one knew what was coming. No wonder Arzaka was so flustered. He was trying to keep it a secret. I'm sure everyone in Sumeru loved the surprise. It felt like a dream. A dream, huh? Nahida? There was a thing. I was just wondering if this whole thing might be a dream. No, Nahida, it's real, I promise. Then we should do our best to remember it. Huh? Let's capture this moment forever, so that even if we wake up, this moment will never be lost. That must have been what Alamar wanted when he gave Rui Davita the way to lie. Even though we don't have anything that powerful, we still have our own way to stop time. But how can we do that? A camera? I hope it's a camera. I'll take a big group photo. For Nahida's birthday. Right, everyone, closer together, please. Please, people on the left, make some room. Uh, oh, wait, uh, someone's stepping on my shoe. Ah, sorry, man, as far as I'm, there's not a lot of space. Ah, uh, later, this spot is reserved for the mighty Pari. <clears throat> Pine was the only one allowed to float next to her. So that's what you meant? A picture? Hm, I never thought about it that way before. For now, and every time you look at this photo, you remember the joy of this moment. I don't have experience with this kind of stuff, but I trust you. I believe with all my heart that time will stop for us in this moment. Get in the picture cover. Just need to set the timer, and we're good. Everyone ready? In three, two, one. Happy birthday! <laughs> We're so happy, and Paimon's- I like how Paimon was taking up the most space for someone that can float. <laughs> and Nahida, so please, Sarish is there, Cover's happy, Ivan looks honestly very bored. Nari Kole, happy happy, happy happy. Seth was though unhappy, because Sino, he's cringing, because Sino's got his cards out. <laughs> But you know what? That's part of his character. We love him for it. Oh, I hope we get to keep the photo. That'd be cute. For the teapot. I think that might be it. Oh, yes, we did! Perfect. I'll be putting that very happily in all of my teapots. But is anyone here to talk to? I think that's the whole thing. Is that everything? I think so. This is done. This is done. This is done except for the fact that I'm just not good enough at combat, so it's not going to get done. <laughs> uh, is that everything? Can we talk to Nahida? I think that's everything. Let me just... Just give me one sec. We're going to do a quick, quick Google. Um... To see if there's any, like, people chilling that we can go and talk to. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Oh, there were different people in different places. Well, we we missed some of the other ones. Or is this the wrong one? Hmm. 
No, it's gonna be this one. But where, where am I gonna find this, guys? I think I will, like, in different places. Okay, let me see if I can find the people. Because it looks like I might have missed Buell. How's this Rosanna? It's a <laughs> Yes. Oh, okay. I'll go talk to Nahida. Where is she? Okay, she should be in here yeah, then. Okay, I'm going to see if I can find anyone else. Okay, so Nahida should be Kayla shared this candied Ajalana cannot. Are you waiting for me? Hm. Now who's the mind reader? Did you have a happy birthday? Of course, it was amazing. It's like I was surrounded by everyone's kindness and warmth like a little bird tucked away in a nest. We can't thank everyone enough. The Aranra, the Pari, my dear friends. The third you still hiding something from me, aren't you? Um, am I? Don't worry. If you think it should be kept a secret, then I trust your judgment. After all, you're my knight of flowers. Oh. Did you have a good time at the banquet? Of course, every dish was such a pleasant surprise. I never knew what to expect, like trying to guess the flavour of y'all the candies before opening the box. I wasn't really focused on the food though, one look at everyone's happy faces, and I was really more than satisfied. After all, it's not the food that makes a banquet, it's the company. Uh, okay, and oh, I should go. Okay, who knows? Maybe next time you see me, I'll be in one of your dreams. The Rodeo incident. Yeah, yeah, so sad. Okay, let's see. Where else is everyone else? Uh, okay, it looks like there's some people at the academia entrance. But let's go over there. Maybe we should. I think there's been people around the place this whole time, and we just. I haven't been looking for them. <laughs> I, I just haven't been looking for them. But there should be some people here somewhere should be Sethos, I think. Hello! You didn't know you were invited to the academia party, right? You're not going to show your face? Hm? I don't remember doing anything worth getting invited. It's just another noisy room of people, not my scene. Look, I'm no scholar, but even if I've heard about your work in historical criticism and modern politi political research, you find the clues and inspiration for their big caper. That basically makes you the hero. Your contribution is half the reason they even have something to celebrate. I think someone from the Temple of Science would know when to stop talking. Okay, okay, I can take a hint. I'm just letting you know. They're gonna drag you there one way or another. You told them where I was? <laughs> Believe it or not, I do know where to keep my mouth shut. But since I know you pretty well, they did ask me to come find you. Since when do they know each other? I feel like I'm missing some lore here. Son of a fine, show me the way. A lot of things make a lot more sense now, but like, wh what? What do you mean? I know you very well. When did when did that happen? What am I missing? I'm missing something. Oh no! Okay, great. I clicked the button by mistake. So now we gotta click through it again. <laughs> okay. Okay. What are you thinking? Ah, there he is. Okay, but what are you thinking? Oh my gosh, we didn't scan Nahida. Wait, can you scan Nahida? I don't think you can scan Nahida. What a nuisance. Okay, so it looks like... Uh, it looks like Layla is somewhere. Oh, I clicked a button, but I didn't mean to click. Oh, okay. Layla should be somewhere. Over here, maybe? You don't know you can't? Okay. I mean, that's tragic, but good, because it means I don't have to try and fail. <laughs> now, where, where's the cafe? It looks like Layla should be near the cafe. And I always forget where the cafe is. It's okay, we're gonna find it. We're gonna make it there. Layla, Layla, where are you, Layla? Layla! Layla, hello! Everyone is so happy, the experience is different from gazing at the starry sky, but still, what a sight to behold. 
Layla? It's me, Layla, just managed to submit her paper, so she's resting now. It's me, she misses this year's parade, but her work ethic is truly commendable. I'll take a picture to capture the moment and put it on her desk. It's beautiful. Oh, it's other Layla. It's other Layla. Uh. Oh, it looks like there might be somebody back over, back over here. Should be somewhere. <gasps> Here they are. Hello. You there, Leaf Hat? I have a question. Arasaka, Leaf Hat? The bar I find challenging enough to put it the Rakasha Oasis. How have you managed to put it in a domain as advanced as the rainforest for hundreds of years? You're not an Ara, you're a bird, red and warm and small. Arakasha can make you something to eat. Uh, a bird? No, I'm a Pari. We live in the Rakasha Oasis. The Rakasha Oasis? Like, Vanarana, but for a bird? Vanarana? Something tells me this conversation is going nowhere. Little red bird is a good bird. Good birds can come to Vanarana. Arasaka will make you delicious food. We can practice our Kalari together. I find lots and lots of tracer. Ah, well, okay. Having me stuck at the oasis for too long, it's like I can't understand the language of the outside world anymore. But every said sounded impressive, though. Oh, that's nice. I like it. They're communicating. And they get to be friends. <laughs> I like the fact that because they're like both Nahida's familiars but in two different like realms and it's so nice that they get to like interact now uh, okay is there anyone else oh Candice should be in our village let's go find out I think I missed out on talking to like a bunch of people in between all the quests, but that's fine. <laughs> Was I going to have time to talk to them all? Probably not. I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it's fine. Oh well. Uh, Candice, 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 Candice? She should be... Here she is. Hello Candice. Take the sand and get into your sleeves, traveller. Here, have a seat. Are you busy? Now I'm just practicing an ancient melody. It's beautiful, but I don't know how it ends. The knowledge has been lost to the sands. I used to play it over and over again, never able to fully complete it. But tonight, I want to try giving a suitable ending. Perhaps it's just the festival spirit, but I can't help but feel like certain stories deserve a happy ending. Certain memories remain just as precious, even as they fade with time. I'm back so soon. Since I can't like to flowers, hasn't had enough of the festivities. There are villages where I truly belong. I had a wonderful time with everyone, but I don't mind returning to my daily life. There's no time to be sad. You see, look at the sky, another beautiful day, it's just around the corner. Yes. I've got something else to do right now. In any case, even with the fertility's end, that joy still stays with us. I can still hear everyone's laughter. Oh, it went too quickly. Everyone's laughter even now. Okay, let's see. Did it say anything else? Anyone? Nope. Oh, I think it said the flower carriage is in Port Ormus, so maybe that's where we'll that's where we'll go. Port Ormus. The flower carriage. That's not where Port Ormus is. No, I've gone too far. Here we go. Oh, there it is. Oh, okay. And I think, yeah, we missed out on any other potential dialogue that could have been, because I think, like, Skarmouche was <sighs> wandering around the entire time. It's just, you, didn't, you don't really see him, but, like, we could have if we'd gone looking for him. I think he was by the Academia the entire time. But, you know, I, I didn't go to the Academia, because why would I go to the Academia? I was not supposed to go to the Academia. So, we, we didn't. We missed it. <laughs> um, I'm looking for the flower carriage. It should be somewhere here. Supposedly. Uh, where is it? Oh, there 
there it is. Oh, it's so pretty. I guess this is where we left Nahida. We managed to do pretty much everything. Okay, we didn't do this, but that's okay. We've got eight days left. We can do that. We can do that on Sunday. Um, but we did all of these. We did this, we did this, we did this, and we weren't meant to do these. Um, oh, how many primer gems do I have? Oh, we can do one more. Nope. <laughs> oh, I might want to do one. I kind of want Hutao now. But like, I don't want to waste all of my wishes on this. But like, I also do. I don't even need Hutao. But now I'm kind of committed. And look at this. What am I doing? I don't have this many. What am I doing? Oh no. I don't even think I have enough wishes for this. <laughs> but now I'm committed. I've spent too many already. I'm never going to build up that stock again, am I? That's it. I just... I just... I just gotta. I just... I just gotta. I'm, I'm running out, I've got 35 left. It's, it's not gonna... Hmm? <laughs> okay, we can check. Maybe I should do them one at a time. Is that why... Is that what you're suggesting? <laughs> okay. Okay, we'll, we'll check, we'll check. <gasps> okay, let's see. I mean, we know it's about... 50 because we got Dea. Okay. Uh, five, 10, 15, 20, 25. Oh, no. 20, 24. That's not very many. It really? It should be 40, no? Because we did 20, and now we did 20 more. Page number 5, what does that mean? Yeah, I know it, I know it carries over, but... Oh, it is like an hour to update. I see, I see. Oh, yeah. Those are from before. See, so, yeah, we're at 40. I know, but we almost... Almost got a... Did I just do 30? 54. Hmm. Who's coming? But I don't want... Do I need Hutao? So who's coming next? I can just keep my 54. Let's look at Chaska and Auroran. See, the thing is, I don't want Chaska, but I probably want Auroran because he's a four star. Hmm. Okay, fine, we'll wait. 
That's true. That's true. Okay, we'll stop. We'll stop. We'll just be sad. Oh well, maybe another time, Hutao. Another time. I've used too much. How much have I got left? This is, this is a very sad number. You guys have so many. Okay. You guys have convinced me. We will wait. We will wait. Thanks for watching everyone. If you've enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. If you'd like to see me play live, then check out my Twitch channel. You can find me on Wednesdays and Sundays at 8pm GMT. Thanks again and have a great day!